Hi again, and thank you for selecting this video. In this video, I will show you how to transfer songs, music from your iPhone and iPod first generation to your computer. We will be using Teapot and Total Commander for this. If you do not know what that is, go to my channel, check out my playlist and uh, my tutorial playlist, and you'll see it there. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is plug in your iPod. Okay, when you plug that in, iTunes will open. Just cancel the sync. You can either cancel it from your iPod or iPhone by sliding to cancel sync. So, and then you just close iTunes. Quit and just close iTunes. Okay, then I want you to open Total Commander. Okay, and then here's the most important bit double click here on the right box, not the left one, teapot. And if it's not selected there, if, it's, if it doesn't show this, what it shows on my screen, up here in this little arrow thing, you just press this last one with a slash in it. And then that'll appear. Double click on teapot. When that opens, I want you to click on double click on private on the private folder. Click on that. Double click on the var folder. Double click on mobile. And double click on library. Sorry, not library, media. Okay, we get here and we go to iTunes Control. So double click on iTunes Control and then double click on music. These are all the folders with the songs in them. Let's, so let's open one of these folders. See, these, these are some songs I've got on my iPod. They are with like these weird letters because that's like a type of code but don't worry because when you put them into iTunes it turns right back to what it was on the iPod so what you simply want to do is just go dragging these actually here on the left box go to your C drive choose so you want to put it on the C drive and when you put on the C drive this will appear press documents and settings your user in my case is Joe and my documents that's where I will put them and then my music and then you just go dragging one by one just simply click and drag I'm not gonna do it because I've already got all my songs just click and drag do it all it's probably gonna take a long time if you have lots of songs simply do that and uh, yeah well that's it hope this helped you then after after you drag them into your your music thing your music folder you can just drag them into iTunes and it'll come up with a real name thank you for watching subscribe and yeah subscribe cuz today I'm going to be posting on how to do it with the second generation iPod or iPhones and the 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 way I'll do it in my next video you can also do it with the first generation iPods. I, I think actually it's better doing it the other way. So even if you watch this, watch my next video because it's it's cooler. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.